Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for the second half of August. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. Okay, we have recognition and reward and it was reversed. So um, maybe somebody's not recognizing your worth here. Maybe you're feeling like you're not getting the reward for the hard work you've been putting. I mean, either in a relationship or love, but it's like you're not getting the recognition just yet. Um, like I was saying, I'll leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box. Okay, moving on. Oh, so you're finding it difficult to move on as well. Let's check the deck. No, it's the right way up. So let's see. Um, yeah, finding it difficult to move on, but not getting the recognition that you deserve. Somebody not recognizing your worth here, Gemini. I mean, it's like you're waiting for answers um, and clarity here before moving on. Because this is the three of wands here, uh, waiting for good news. Um, I feel like you want closure, foundation and achievement here. Okay, so you want this new beginning either with this person um, because you've already built a foundation with them. Um, you feel like you've built up so much together that it's hard to move on from this. Maybe you built a family with them, a loving home, this beautiful connection. It, you could have said forever to each other here and now they've decided to move on. I mean, and left you and you can't let go of this. You can't let go and you can't move on. But they are just not seeing your worth here. So when we can't see somebody's worth, I mean, you have to see it yourself, right? And you have to find the strength to move on or move forward, at least, in this situation. So let's see here where we're going with this. You may feel like because you've built so much together that you, you don't want to move on, but they're just not seeing your worth. The hermit, yeah. So right now you have to spend this time soul searching and finding the answers from within because they're not giving you answers right now. You have to go this journey alone. You have to do it alone and rebuild that foundation on your own. I feel like you don't mind build, uh, doing it on your own, but you built so much together. So when it's like when somebody said forever and now they've left, it, it's like not making sense to you. So you're looking for answers. Um, I don't feel like somebody from outside of you is giving them. So you have to seek the answers yourself. You're soul searching. You're looking for answers here the devil okay it could be a capricorn for some or a virgo for others um but here it feels like it can be codependency so you may feel like you can't be happy without them that would be codependency it could be that they face addictions and this is having problems in your romantic life or you facing addictions as well um it's like you're fighting this inner battle of good and evil within you here that, and you just can't seem to let go of maybe somebody who was mistreating you, somebody who wasn't good for you. You'll get there in the end. You will. You'll find the answers that you seek. And you see that love that you're seeking outside of yourself is within you, okay? Ten of Wands. So this is... um an end of a cycle this is the burden becoming so much that there's nothing left to do but let go and move on they're not giving you answers and it could just build up and build up within you um you may even have the answers 
And the more you carry this around with you, the more things like seem to be burning down in your house, right? Um, so it's like, look at this, having to let go of this foundation and this house here. Um, it's, it's, somebody could even have a house fire here. Like if they're being careless and, you know, distracted here, I feel, I feel like you're very distracted by what's going on in your love life or what's not going on in your love life that you could be destroying other parts of your life. Okay. Um, you might feel like this negativity is just following you around um, because you want some sort of closure. Why this happened? Why this came to an end? You'll find it with the hermit, okay? You'll find it. It's your spiritual path here. You'll learn to understand why this happened and had to happen when we get hindsight. I know like sometimes if we had hindsight at the beginning of a lesson, right, it'd be so much easier. But you will find out why this came to a lesson, uh, sorry, an end, but it feels like there's a lot for you to carry at the moment and there's a lot going on with you and you find it difficult to let go or move on from somebody who doesn't see your worth, who has let your everything you built together come down in flames. four of cups so they could have rejected you um and that's brought your tower moment down this rejection had an effect on all of your life so it may have affected your work it may have affected your home life how you feel about yourself your self-esteem it's like almost feeling like giving up and I think with the Ten of Wands, we get to a point where we feel like giving up. And we should because we need to let go of these burdens and not carry them with us further. We do have these falls which say, even though it might not seem like it, you're on the right track. Good things are coming to you. You're just not seeing them yet. They are just over the, over the horizon, but you're not seeing them coming yet because, you know, we can't see the woods for the trees, right? We're looking at things that are right close to us. Problem here, problem there. This is messing up. Or, you know, the TV's gone now. You know, kitchen appliances always go in threes. So you can't see the good things that are coming because you have a lot going on just right in front of you. Look at that. The good things are coming. Three of wands. The good news is on its way. Just trust the process here. Trust that everything you're going through, whether it seems like, you know, I've just got this bad energy following me at the moment. It's going to lead to something good here. This can even be traveling as well, or maybe even moving house or forced to move house. And it seems like a bad thing going on. But in the end, it'll be good for you. All these challenges that you're faced with will just build you to be a stronger individual, like a spiritual warrior here, raising your vibrations up and up and up. I feel like you're very independent and strong, but this really hurt you. This rejection really broke you. So it's making it difficult for you to move past this and to see good things come in. I mean, it happens to us all, right? When we go through heartbreak and loss, we can not see like positive things coming. The fours are upright. So yeah, you're on the right track. You're doing the right thing. Ace of Wands. So <clears throat> if you're waiting for communication from a person... Um, that will come in. I'm not sure if it will help. You're waiting for answers and you will get them. I'm not sure right now if it'll help. We see another four, um, ace and three of wands here, making four wands, a new beginning. But it's like, it reminds me of the Adele song, Set Fire to the Rain. And that's what I'm seeing here. I think she says, I knew that it was the last time. So she sets fire. It means it burns when you cry because you've cried so much. 
the burden has become so much, you have to eventually let go. And that's what you'll do. And after the Ten of Wands, we want to see the Ace of Wands. So that's good. Um, it really is. I, I know it probably doesn't feel like it, but it really is a good next step. Being able to let go and embrace new opportunities, getting answers here that help you to move forward. Maybe they don't come from the person you want them to come from. Um, but look at this. The death card, it helps you to put an end to this cycle where it feels like everything's going wrong for you. Good news is on its way. So <clears throat> it's whatever it is you've been waiting for here is on its way. And, you know, some I tell people sometimes they pray for a new pair of shoes and their shoes get stolen. So sometimes... We end up getting what we want, but not the way we want, right? You may have prayed for, oh, I hope I get an everlasting love while you was in a relationship. And then that relationship comes to an end. And then you say, what the hell? I prayed for everlasting love. Okay, but this is not your everlasting love. So we have to let go of it. So tra transformation and change came to your life. And it's difficult to change. It's scary. It's hurtful. When we, especially when we can't see how our life will change. If we can't see the good changes that are coming to us immediately, it's very scary. So this tra transformation and change is coming. Um, I feel like. It could, like I said, it could have already happened and you're waiting for some sort of communication that brings you answers. You just want to know, why did you say forever and then walk out on me? I don't think they have the answers for you. They may communicate with you, but I don't feel like they have the answers for you. It feels like something is coming to an end and there is changes coming. So let's say you're single and um you know waiting for communication for somebody that brings you these answers or you're waiting for somebody to recognize your worth what will happen in this transformation is you recognize your worth okay so then if this person then wants to make you an offer they have to step up their game you don't need to step down this is what you'll find when soul searching. You shouldn't have to try and tell somebody your worth or show them your worth over and over and over again. You'll just get to this point where it's too much and it just snaps. And a tower moment comes in or the death card comes in and it comes to an end. But what you're finding it or who you're finding it difficult to move on from here, there is communication and transformation coming a rebirth here with the death card because once we go through the death we go through a rebirth so a change to you to who you was your identity even but there's so much goodness coming just have faith and trust here <clears throat> two of wands so you feel like the decision was not yours it was taken out of your hands you didn't want this change you didn't want to move on and you still don't or you know refusing to make a decision here well that's usually a tower moment sometimes we can have intuition that somebody's cheating on us or somebody's not right for us and we ignore it until the change is forced upon us right until that person leaves with somebody else and then we no longer can decide. So I feel like some of you um, are at a point where you're refusing to see uh, what's going on and this ending is going to be forced upon you. Or there are some of you here that refuse or are finding it hard to move on without answers from this person. I need to know, do they want me? Do they love me? Are they the one? If, if somebody wants you, 
they'll put that energy into you, that effort into you. And I know some people can put energy into multiple people. Um, but just overall, trust your intuition. So if you've been rejected, okay, with the Four of Cups, there will be a love offer coming your way. There will be somebody who sees your worth coming your way. They'll come into your life when you least expect it. You may feel out of control of your life here as well, but you're not. Just trust and when soul searching, understand that love that you give to everybody else comes from within you. So put that love into yourself here and that kindness into yourself. They want to talk here maybe about, uh, I feel like you want answers and they won't give them or they can't give them they don't have the answer you want seven of wands yeah so you're going to find it very challenging that they can't give you what you want but it's within you the answer's within you it's not outside of you okay when you understand that when you've changed that um then it all unfold naturally here i feel like if if you truly believe that you are meant to be with with this person and finding it difficult to move on um you first need to understand what's meant for you will never pass you by so you've got to keep pushing forward through these challenging times with the 7 of wands right you've got to keep pushing forward um and keep living Truly have faith here. What is meant for you will not pass you by. So you don't need to keep fighting for somebody who's maybe ignoring you, trying to text somebody who's ignoring you, who has blocked you here. That'll serve no purpose. So stand your ground, be strong here and keep moving forward. Have faith, okay? You may feel like I'll never find love again or I'll never find that job I want again. But have faith that something better is on the horizon here. Seven of Swords. I feel like this could be low self-esteem that, you know, maybe you would accept somebody who doesn't see your worth because swords are about thought. So you may be thinking negatively about yourself. Some people could even be lying to themselves. Some people are even being cheated on here and ignored their intuition in the beginning until that person ended up rejecting you. And then it was taken, the decision was taken out of your hands, which made you feel 10 times worse. So we're getting a lot of this 777 today. Um, so the energy is saying, look, um, you've got to be in the energy of receiving love, not just giving love, okay? And stand strong. Expect a miracle and that's what you'll get here. Good luck, guys.